What's up, guys? It's Kristen Stuff's Pino coming in with Iron Man number two. What, what? I was so obsessed with Iron Man 1 and the ending with that cliffhanger. I can't wait to get to this one. If you are watching this with me on YouTube, I just want to let you know this is a cut down version of the film because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture within picture. However, if you'd like to see this full reaction, uncut, uninterrupted, all you gotta do is join our Patreon page or become a member of this channel. Super easy. You will need a copy of your own uh, film though. All you gotta do is throw it up side by side when I give that countdown. Three, two, one. Boom, bada bang. Push that play button and it's like you're on a one-on-one -on -one date with yours truly, Kristen Seves Pino. Ding. So welcome to date night or a girl's slumber party, whichever you prefer. I'm cool with. If you haven't done so already, guys, please hit that subscribe button, bell icons, all notifications, and pretty, pretty please upvote this video so you let me know and them know and YouTube know, everybody know you're enjoying what you're watching. With that being said, let's get started. I mean, let's face it, I'm, I'm not the heroic type. Laundry list of character defects, all the mistakes I made, largely public. Miss Lucia, you do it now. I think it's kind of interesting. This is just a thought that's going on in my head right now. I do think it's interesting that Tony decided to tell the world he's Iron Man because that just puts a huge, massive target on his back. I feel like most people, you know, like Spider-Man, they like to keep, the, they want their identity to be hush-hush. And I almost feel like that kind of plays into Tony's ego because he is that, that proud proud man who's also a little bit you know we all know he's a little snotty and like like he's not the most humble so it's interesting six months later what are we doing practicing yeah perfecting your outfit working with the military Celebrity status. I'm not saying that the world is enjoying its longest period of uninterrupted peace in years because of me. So cocky. I haven't come across anyone who's mad enough to go toe to toe with me on my best day. Mm. I don't know if I like him right now. He's, he's, he's too. It's not about me. It's not about you, it's about legacy. Mm. Please welcome my father, Howard. Everything is achievable through technology. And for the first time in human history, the possibility of world peace. So from all of us here at Stark Industries, I would like to personally introduce you to the city of the future. Hey, hey buddy. This is Larry. Hey, the Oracle of Oracle. What a pleasure. Nice to see you. King. Larry! Mm. Oh, yes. Larry King. Mr. Stark, do you or do you not possess a specialized weapon? I do not. You do not? I do not. Well, it depends on how you define the word weapon. It's a weapon, Mr. Stark. I hate Please, to if your it's priority was actually the, the well-being... No, my priority is to get the Iron Man weapon turned over to the people of the United States of America. Well, damn. I am Iron Man. The suit and I are... One, to turn over the Iron Man suit would be to turn over myself, which is tantamount to indentured servitude or institution, depending on what state you're in. Can't have it. Boy. Now let's see what's really going on. What does he do? If you'll direct your attention to said screens, I believe that's North Korea. Damn! Is that Justin Hammer? Right leg up. How did Hammer get nice. in the game? Justin, you're on TV. Right Focus up. 
I have successfully privatized world peace. I tried to play ball with these ass clowns. These Thank ass you, Mr. clowns. Ooh. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Congratulations on the opening ceremonies. They were such a success, as was your Senate hearing. And may I say how refreshing it is to finally see you in a video with your clothing on, sir. <laughs> Unfortunately, the device that's keeping you alive is also killing you. Damn. Pepper needs I'm to trying company. to run the company. Well, stop trying you to do it and do it. I'm not asking you to try to do it. I'm asking you to physically do it. I need you to do it. I am Pepper, trying to do it. You're not listening to me. No, I'm trying to make you CEO. <laughs> I hereby irrevocably appoint you chairman and CEO of Stark Industries, effective immediately. Congratulations. Take it. Just take I it. I don't know what to think. Don't think. Drink. Don't think. Drink. What's your name, lady? Rushman, Natalie Rushman. Hey. I don't know if it's she's on what? the DC though. I, I'm I'm still learning, guys. Rule number one: never take your eye off your opponent. Oh. Oh, so maybe she's a hero. Maybe it's she's a Marvel hero. Happy. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Just slip. You did? Yeah. But I don't remember what she was. Like what kind of hero she was. Oh, just um, I need your impression. You have quiet reserve. I don't know, you have an old soul. I, I meant your fingerprint. Right. Will that be all, Mr. Stark? Yes, no. that will be all. No, he says no. I want one. No. Bienvenue au Grand Prix de Monaco Historique. That whole scene just like gave me the giggles. Natalie. Natalie. Yes, Miss Punch, I know about this. Uh, this is the first that I've been with it. This, this cannot happen. Absolutely, I understand. How can I help you? He is not going to do this now. That was a cool reveal. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. No. First vacation in two years. Personally, I think that takes a little too long. Oof. Damn. Come from a family of thieves and butchers. Mm. You try to rewrite your own history. And you forget all the lives the Stark family has destroyed. Speaking of thieves, where did you get this design? My father. 
I'm Tom, uncle. My father is the reason you're alive. The reason I'm alive is because you had a shot, you took it, you missed. If you can make God bleed, then people will cease to believe in him. Before you go, palladium in the chest, painful way to die. Hmm. He has the cure. <laughs> oh no, this little weasel! I'd like to do some business with you. Please sit. <clears throat> you need my resources. Someone behind you, a benefactor. I'd like to be that guy. <laughs> Uh, it looks like he has sunscreen, like self tanner on his hands. Do you speak English? Because I can get a translator. I I don't know. Have you been understanding everything I'm saying? Very good man. Very good man. man. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I want my bird. A bird? You want a bird? I want my bird. I can get your bird. I can get you ten birds. I want my bird. Boat. Are we talking about? Uh, is this a bird back in Russia? Bird? Can I ask you a question, hypothetically? A bit odd. If this was your last birthday party you were ever going to have, how would you celebrate it? I'd do whatever I wanted to do. With whoever I wanted to do it with. <clears throat> you know, the question I get asked most often is, Tony, how do you go to the bathroom in the suit? Just like that. Ah. Oh. I love you. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> so much Tony we all thank you so much for such a wonderful night and we're gonna say good night now and thank you all for coming the, the, the cake we didn't blow out the candle you're out of control okay I'm out of control. trust me on this one okay you're out of control. it's time Gorgeous. to go to bed it's time you're not gonna be happy no the party's over then again the party was over for me like an hour and a half ago the after party starts in 15 minutes oh and if anybody, Prepper, doesn't like it, there's the door. Oh, she. Oh, no. I'm only going to say this once. Get out. Damn! Daddy showed up to the pot. Hey! You don't deserve to wear one of these. Shut it down! Gold stain. Yes, Mr. Stark. Give me a fat beat to beat my body chest. <laughs> I told you to shut it down. Yo, you're destroying your beautiful home! <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. Sorry, pal, but Iron Man doesn't have a sidekick. Put your hand down. You think you got what it takes to wear that suit? We don't have to do this, Tony. You want to be the war machine? Take your shot. Put it down. You going to take a shot? Put it down. No! Drop it, Tony. Take it. Oh my gosh. You know how much money they just destroyed? Oh my gosh. I mean, if he thinks he's like going out though, I guess he doesn't care about how much it's gonna cost to repair this. Ooh. No, he just, he just took a suit. Donut. I've had donuts from there. Not very good. Huh. I knew it. I knew she was a hero too, like You're a superhero a thing. I just didn't know. To you. Okay. 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 I have bigger problems than you in the Southwest region to deal with. Hit him. Oh. Oh God, you're gonna steal my kidney and sell it? Would you please not do anything awful for five seconds? 
That's lithium dioxide. It's gonna take the edge off. I've been looking for a suitable replacement for palladium. I've tried every combination, every permutation of every known element. Well, I'm here to tell you, you haven't tried them all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got you the bird, pal. This is not my bird. What do you mean? That's the bird. This is the bird. This guy is such a moron. This is a gorgeous bird. I mean, you know, look, don't get so attached to things. Learn to let go. Is that a helmet? Doesn't look like a helmet to me. H how, how are you supposed to get a head in there? Don't get too attached to things. Learn to let go. These drones better steal the show, Ivan. You told me I hadn't tried everything. What do you mean I haven't tried everything? What happened I tried? He said that you were the only person with the means and knowledge to finish what he started. He said that? Hmm? He wasn't my biggest fan. What do you remember about your dad, huh? He was cold. He was calculating. He never told me he loved me. He never even told me he liked me. Hmm, daddy issues. He was one of the founding members of S.H.I.E.L.D. What? Damn. I got a two o'clock. Wait, wait, wait. What? Got right? what? I don't yeah. even know what I'm supposed to get. Natasha will remain a floater at Stark with her cover intact, and you remember Agent Coulson, right? Yeah. Ooh! Remember. That's hot. I got my eye on you. Okay, okay. I still don't know who exactly you are, but... I'm Howard Stark, and everything you'll need in the future can be found right here. I would like to personally... Tony, what are you doing back there? What is that? So from all of us at Stark Industries, I'd like to personally show you my ass. I'd like... He's showing you something in the video. Why would he say everything you need is in this room? Tony. You're too young to understand this right now, so I thought I would put it on film for you. I built this for you. This is the key to the future. I'm limited by the technology of my time. But one day you'll figure this out. You will change the world. What is and always will be my greatest creation is you. <laughs> Fine. Take it, take it. Uh, I don't like people handing me things. So just drop that there. <laughs> I just want to try to make good. Can I move this? This is this is crazy. I'm, it's like a Ferris wheel going. I'm trying no. to get some. <clears throat> <laughs> I am trying to do the job that you were meant to do. Did you bring me strawberries? That there's only one thing on earth that I'm allergic, allergic to. Allergic to strawberries. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Anything else, boss? I'm good. No, huh? I'll be just uh, a minute. I lost both the kids in the divorce. Ha! <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> I mean, that would be a bad time to laugh. What is it you're trying to achieve, sir? I'm discovering, uh, correction, I'm rediscovering a new element. The structure of the protons and the neutrons using the pavilions as a framework. That for almost 20 years, still taking me to school. <laughs> The proposed element should serve as a viable replacement for palladium. Unfortunately, it is impossible to synthesize. Get ready for a major remodel, fellas. We're back in hardware mode. Here we go. What's this doing here? That's it. You know what this is? It's exactly what I need to make this work. Lift a coil. Go, go. Put your knees in it. There you go. And drop it. Drop it. <laughs> oh my gosh. He doesn't know what it is. Congratulations, sir. You have created a new element. 
no longer circular. Hesitation, no flight, no shooting. Well, wait, 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 wait. Well, what can you make them do? I mean, this is a weapons demonstration. I can make salute. What do you mean, make salute? What the hell does that mean, Ivan? This is not what we agreed to, okay? Oh, me suits and, and then you promised me drone. Ivan's not working for you. He's making him his own suit. You love that bird, don't you? You know what? Take the bird. Hey! How does that make you feel? Do you feel bad? Good. Because that's how I feel! Something really, really great fell into my lap. And if it hadn't, I'd be at your mercy tonight. Now I have a piece of Stark tech. I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna go to the expo. See these guys? They're your babysitters. They are not to be trifled with. How's the land of enchantment? Hey, Tommy, how are you doing? <laughs> A double cycle. You told me double cycles, more power. Good advice. Oh. You sound pretty sprightly for a dead guy. You too. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, why would you give him that? You just helped him. Manhattan and outlying boroughs. I hope you're ready. You know, being cocky gets you in trouble, bro. Mm -hmm. What's up? You want to run some tests? Run them. Ah! It tastes like coconut. No. Ew. Oh, wow! Yeah! Coconut's not, coconut's not a bad taste, but the metal? All these people are in danger. We gotta get them out of here. You gotta trust me for the next five minutes. Oh, yeah, try it, I got tossed around your house, Listen, remember? I think he's working with Venko. Venko's alive? Is that you? No, that's I'm not doing that. That's not me. I can't move. I'm, I'm locked up. I'm locked up. Tony, Tony, I'm locked on. I have target lock. On what? On you! Oh. At least they could communicate. He's locked us out of the mainframe. Who's locked you out of the mainframe? Go away. Thank you. Mm -mm. These bitches out of here. Yep, here we go. And you tell me who's behind us. Who's behind us? Nobody's answering the phone. What's going on? Get in the car. Take me to Hammer Industries. I'm not taking you anywhere. Fine. You want me to drive? No, I'm driving. Get in the car. Hmm. Oh, no. It's a baby. Nice work, kid. Cute. I'm gonna enter the facility and take down the target. <laughs> Watch the room. I got it. I got it. <laughs> stay in the car. I'm not staying in the car. I said stay in the car. What are you wearing? <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> Oh. 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 She just punched him in the crotch. Damn. I see you. She doesn't even like flinch. You got one. Good job, driver. I got him. Yeah, go go back to the car. Keep it running. Damn. Uh -oh. He's gone. What's your corny? Oh. Is that him? No. Yeah, yeah, nice. 
But they're literally like playing a video game in their suits. Get down! Whoa! I didn't know he could do that. Why didn't you do that from the start? I think you should lead with that next time. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's a one-off. Oh. Oh, he bring his whips? Yep, he brought the whips. Good to be back. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. <laughs> nope. Shut up. Mm. Rook, I got an idea. You wanna be a hero? What? You really use a sidekick. Oh my gosh. Ready, ready, go, go, go! Damn. You know, it's kind of a good thing they kind of rehearsed that somewhat. Ooh. Ooh. What about all the other people that just probably died from all that? I never know if you're gonna kill yourself or, or, or wreck the whole company. I, did, or... I think I did okay. I, I quit. I'm resigning. <laughs> I'll handle the transition. It'll be smooth. Okay, what about the press? Because you only have the job for a week. That's gonna be soon. What, with you, it's like dog years. I, I mean, it's like the president's. Ah! Weird. It's okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's weird. Oh my god! Two seals fighting over a grape. Oh my god! That's so embarrassing. Quit. Yeah, so Actually, we're not. So you don't have to do that. I I heard the whole thing. <laughs> you should get lost. I was here first. Get a roof. <laughs> my car got taken out in the explosion, so I'm gonna have to hang on to your suit for a minute. Okay? Not okay. Not okay with that. Wasn't a question. <laughs> I don't think I want you looking at that. I'm not sure it pertains to you anymore. Now this, on the other hand, is Agent Romanoff's assessment of you. Oh no. A recruitment assessment for Avenger Initiative. Iron Man, yes. I gotta think about it. Read on. Tony Stark not, not recommended? Oh. That doesn't make any sense. How can you approve me, but not approve me? I'm trying to do right uh, by uh, Pepper. I'm in a, a stable-ish relationship. <laughs> which leads us to believe at this juncture, we'd only like to use you as a consultant. Oh. You can't afford me. Then again, I will waive my customary retainer in exchange for a small favor. Rhodey and I are being honored in Washington, and we need a presenter. See what I can do. <laughs> It is my honor. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Funny how annoying a little prick can be. Oh my god, that's so good! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that ending is fire! Hmm? Thor. So, we found Oh it. my. Ah! Okay. Okay, you know what's so funny is I actually was expecting Iron Man 1 to be, to have this kind of feel for it. I'm glad it didn't. Now, I know what I'm talking about Iron Man, the first one. I love how now it's what I thought it was gonna be about. Like all the action, all the bangs. Like, I mean, there was a lot of action in the first one as well, but it was just a little bit more like simple and like humbling to walk into this new world. 
And I feel like in Iron Man 2, we're still establishing who Iron Man is and still figuring him out. And I love that we're still taking it slow. He's developing his character along the way and he's still st- He is a prick and he is still like arrogant and has like this ego. I don't know. I'm hoping that as we go, he's going to become a little more humble. I hope he never loses his edge and that spicy little attitude he has. He is definitely a wild firecracker. Oh my gosh. I love, I love Iron Man. I'm obsessed. I love that Tony and Mrs. Potts, Miss Pepper. I love that they're an item because I feel like everybody can see that coming. Man, the way they argue and their chemistry together is just absolutely fire. Absolutely fire. I'm obsessed with it. And we have Natalie. She's a badass. I love her and her character in this. Like, absolutely outstanding. I also like our James, our military guy. He's amazing. I love that they used his and Tony's uh, relationship and took that to another level. You know, it's interesting because I feel like the storyline on this one with their friendship is something that that is real. We do have those friends that we trust, but at the same time, we every once in a while, you know, we upset one another (laughs) and we might try to, you know, kind of like not necessarily get back at them, but we try to get them to do the right things. And then we get so irritated that we're like, nope, nope. And our stubbornness comes out. And then when you become a team again in those moments, when it matters the most, that's how you know you have a solid friend and a good one. The U.S. Marshal, I thought that was pretty great when she served Tony. I thought that was a really funny scene. I'm obsessed with the Senator. I love him. I hope he continues to stay in all the Iron Man films. I don't know, like there's something about the Senator in the sense of like, so lovable and he's such a hater. We need that. (laughs) And he gets under Tony's skin. Like the way he gets under Tony's skin is just the best thing on on the planet because I feel like not many people are able to do that. Normally he like shrugs it off and he's like, yeah, whatever. But these two guys get under each other's skin just equally, which is pretty great. Okay, Van Van Co, I think is his name. The other villain was fire. Like he was a scary, a very scary ass villain. They threw that shot in there and he has like nothing but his bottoms, like his undies on and yo, I would not want to be that close to him. Even like that, even locked up. He looks like a guy that could just destroy everything and just break whatever he's put on. And I'm kind of bummed out that he died because I almost wish that he was a character that comes back later or something because I feel like he was just kind of cool. He was like really cool, but scary. And I loved how smart he was almost at the level of Tony's. Okay, this is something I do wish. I wish that him and Iron Man had more scenes together like more a little bit more conversations almost i don't know what, what do you guys think only because i love their characters and i love the way they communicated so i almost like i wanted more of that in this as of right now in the marvel marvel uh world of things iron man is officially right now he's my favorite and as we go on i'm going to keep braiding people to see who I actually like the most. We'll see how Iron Man holds up because he's just, he's just a funny, fun character that you can't help but like. His cockiness, sometimes I feel like rubs me wrong. But like I said in the beginning too, it's interesting how most superheroes don't want to be seen, right? They don't want to be known. They want to be kind of kept under the table like you know about them but you don't really know exactly who they are with tony it's interesting because people knowing who he is just keeps getting him in trouble but he's so damn cocky he's also very like self-absorbed and i love that they did a diagnosis on him because i also think that he is a narcissist (laughs) and you can tell with the way he communicates in the way he banters especially with Miss Pepper and she's just so sweet she's such a sweet character she's assertive but she's also she's very she's just kind-hearted and so she's a little bit like yes no hot cold hot cold but ah and she doesn't want to disappoint Tony because she you know you can just tell she adores him but she bends over backwards and then she puts her foot down but he knows that he can break her at any point to bring her back to his side you know because he is very charming and he has that narcissist attitude like he he is he is a narcissist and I feel like narcissists are able to sit there and juggle 
you know, they juggle you and they're able to do that. With her, it's 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 sweetly done. And I love that, you know, we go we went from the first one to the second one, how, you know, he doesn't really have family, he doesn't have friends and stuff. And I think in Iron Man 2, you can see he's starting to acquire friendships and like real relationships, which is kind of cool. I like it. I don't really know much about the guy with the pat the patch on the eye. I don't know his background. I don't know his story. So I'm assuming we're going to get into that eventually. But all I'm getting from him is, okay, he is boss, but I don't know exactly what he does other than he is very well connected and knows a lot of things. You know, he's, about, he's with like secret agents and all that good stuff. So with him, I'm like, hmm, I, I want more. A little more about him because I feel like every time he shows up, I'm still a little bit lost and I don't know what to think other than, okay, got it. You're with the Avengers team. You're like head honcho, but what, what is it that you actually really, really truly do? Anyways, you guys, you, you let me know what you think in the comment zone. Help me out along the way, but please, please do not put any spoilers. I do plan on reading some of these comments just to help me during this process to learn, but also become more familiar with things. Just only go off of things that I may have missed, please. No spoilers. But thank you so much uh, for joining me today. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, bell icons, all notifications, and pretty, pretty please about this video. And if you already done so, thank you so much for all your love and support. I'm Kristen Stephenson Pino, and I'll see you next time. Bye.